Teresa Pavlika, TV fanatic. Thanks so much for taking the time today. The demon episodes are really great. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Robert, how do you and your team decide what cultural issues you're going to attack in these episodes and what direction you'll take to attack them? Uh, you know, uh, Michelle and the room really talks about the things they obsessed on over the break. And, you know, often, it, you know, it's issues you would expect. We're all dealing with the same world. It might be police brutality. It might be, in this case of this season, cryptocurrency and how it seems to be corrupting. And then one, we had a whole episode about TikTok and how it seems to be corrupting, you know, people who are not, who are turning away from other forms of entertainment and that there's a narcissism connected to it. So I would say you look at the obsessions of the room and then you go, okay, what are the ones that can be translated into modern horror story mode? You know, so that the metaphors, you don't have to struggle for them to exist. And Michelle, Kristen, David, and Ben have all been um, challenged with their deep insecurities. What kind of direction are you going to take in that avenue this season, and how will they be challenged going forward? Well, I think it's getting even more difficult for David because now he's actually taken vows. So while he may have felt temptation towards Kristen before, the stakes are even higher for him now. And in terms of Kristen, her husband is gone a lot. And she is under a lot of pressure, not only, you know, these are difficult cases she's facing, but she's almost raising these four kids on her own. Mm -hmm. So this isn't easy. And Ben, his, his brain is breaking at this point because here he is an empiricist and day after day, he is flooded with these things that are hard to explain and supernatural starts looking like maybe it is the answer, but that is not acceptable for him. And Robert, how much of the various stories does everyone have mapped out, like the fertility clinic arc and um, what Leland has planned for Kristen, whatever that might be? <laughs> uh, the fertility plan was there and we knew where we were heading with it. And that was what this season is about. Um, there are a lot of things you discover along the way, either in your own nightmares or your own concerns about where the world's headed. Um, so you might find there's a departure to go to the kid's story. Suddenly, uh, you know, the oldest daughter played by Brooklyn is starting to date. And as a parent, you're often wondering, okay, what evil are you bringing into your house by whoever your daughter's dating? You know, so there might be things like that with regards to um, Sister Andrea, we always knew that there was going to be, we loved the clashes last year between her and Leland. So we knew that we wanted more clashes this year between the two. So I think we were devising plot in that direction because we love what Andrea Martin and Michael Emerson do when they're together. They always find something new and scary. So I would say that. Oh, and the other thing is I think Mike Coulter and we all were worried about once he is a priest, does he become boring? And I think that was the story of the entity this year, that there is this part of the Catholic Church that is not boring. It's not Da Vinci Code, but, you know, it's not insane. It is more, they do work within politics. They do work as a secret service with other organizations, whether the CIA or whatever. And so to have them involved with that seemed a way to keep them from turning into, you know, the parish priest who's just there to offer repentance. And Michelle, we have a dastardly trio of Leland, Cheryl, and Edward. What are they going to be? What are their machinations this season? Uh, they continue to just do terrible things. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're just <laughs> making life hell for Kristen and David and Ben. So uh, they are continuing to confound us. Thank you so much for your time today. I can't wait for people to see the season. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Chris.